well because we're looking at the color orange and orange has a special place in my heart though it's I'm not Dutch and I don't cheer for Netherland teams uh, but it is a color that uh, brings to life so much for us some of the things if you go to Wikipedia and you type in orange the list is just insanely long uh, there's all kinds of things from towns all over the world to political movements to uh, all kinds of things uh, organizations that have been created that use the word orange uh, so I'm going to bring you just a few little highlights before we get into the real nitty-gritty of what this color can do for us today William of Orange anyone history sorry yeah Good for you. There's two Williams of Orange. There's the one who sort of is known for founding the Netherlands, even though he was dead before it happened. Uh, but the work that he did leading up to it, his opposition to the Spanish, his arguments against the centralization of political power, uh, much of it uh, in his own interests, uh, still he led to the, to the development of the, of the Netherlands. William III in England was born uh, Prince of Orange, and of course, uh, took over England and Ireland and Scotland and brought them all uh, together and so uh, he is known as William of Orange as well. Uh, Kenya and Orange, 2005, constitution put forward uh, that from the ruling party uh, that was opposed by many in the country. To vote in favor of the constitution you circled a banana on the ballot. To vote against it you circled an orange. And so the party, the Orange, uh, Orange Democratic Movement, was born following the rejection of that constitution as the political uh, life of the existing government uh, came into question. The Orange Movement in the Ukraine in 2004, a little bit earlier, uh, came about as well uh, as a result of arguments in the, in the, the, the uh, counting of the ballots in, a, in a, uh, an election that took place in November uh, and the incumbent, uh, they argued that the incumbent had been, uh, uh, they had worked the ballots through so that he got in again and in truth uh, when they did a recount a few weeks later, sure enough, the second person, it was a re-vote, I'm sorry, not a recount, uh, the second person came in and it was the orange movement uh, that uh, uh, carried that political change forward and demanded that revote. We've had our own orange political party here. Uh, anyone? <laughs> the NDP. And uh, its leader, Jack Layton, will always be uh, a symbol of orange for me. Uh, shortly after his death, uh, we painted the hallways in our home orange. And so I think of Jack almost every time I walk in the door. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> More recently, the term orange without the A has come under scrutiny here as we've watched uh, the misuse of millions of uh, public dollars in the, the executive salaries of the orange uh, helicopter, the emergency response teams, uh, and that it continues to be under investigation. Uh, and most recently, they have uh, found a place in our hearts because of the tragedy a few weeks ago when uh, one of those helicopters went down. So the color orange uh, spans the spectrum of uh, items and issues and ideas, uh, but in the color spectrum, uh, it has a very special place. Uh, it's one of the brightest colors, not quite as bright as last week's yellow. And I see some of you are wearing yellow, it sticks out and there was so much of it last week. Lots of you have an orange. I told a few people uh, earlier before the service that I worked in the Northwest Territories for three years and as a project officer uh, in the what is now called Nunavut for about, uh, I was in the Northwest Territories for six. I worked there for three years and I was responsible for doing inventory in the, in the craft shops and the art uh, co-ops uh, that the territorial government supported. And one time when I was at one of these um, one of these shops when we were doing inventory, uh, some of the native art, the Inuit art, is uh, fabric-based. You may have seen some of the uh, wall hangings that are made out of a kind of a duffel material and they depict traditional scenes. Well, a lot of these had this like horrific orange color in it. 
And the artists had found survey tags and survey flags in their communities and had stolen the flags and put them on these incredibly beautiful uh, fabric uh, pieces of art, thereby devaluing the stock uh, incredibly as they did so because very few of those pieces uh, sold. They might sell now, they'd be collector's items, but at that point in time, it wasn't a stock that was turning over very quickly. I have alluded a few times to the idea of personality and colors, and in the true colors uh, personality assessments, orange is one of the four personality types. Uh, the orange personality is the person who is playful, who uh, is ready for almost anything that comes along, who will take perhaps more risks than others. I'm going to read actually what it says. It represents energy, consuming physiological potency, I wasn't quite sure what that meant, power and strength. Orange is the expression of vital force, of nervous and glandular activity. I didn't know, want to know what that meant. Thus it has the meaning of desire and all forms of appetite and craving. Those with orange as a primary color feel the will to achieve results, to win, to be successful. They desire all things that offer intense living and full experience. Orange generates an impulse toward active doing, sport, struggle, competition, and enterprising productivity. In temporal terms, orange is present. Now I started thinking about that personality type, and one of the key elements of it is this playful nature. And I thought that we could take off the orange tangent and go into the idea of play. To how important play is to us. That as something that uses our whole body, uses our mind, uses our laugh muscles, creates community. Play is an important thing. And yet so often we spend our lives focused on the lists of to-dos and the important things we have to do to improve ourselves, to make sure our children are improving themselves. That's sometimes futile. We try to keep on top of our work, to keep involved in our community, to pay attention to the news, to respond appropriately. We get so bloody serious, it's almost impossible for us to get beside ourselves, to get outside of that serious track and get ourselves into the kind of thing about play and all the good things that it can do for us. I'm going to ask you, I have a list here that I've written down, but I want to ask you why people play. Can you give, tell me some of the reasons why you think people play? Learning. Sorry? To learn. To learn. Enjoyment. Explore. To relax, to explore. Health. For health. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. Physical outlet. Physical outlet. Freedom. Freedom. Joy. Joy. Nonsense. Nonsense. Uh, that wasn't to you, Ingrid. That was to you for the, the, the effect of nonsense. That's excellent. Those are the reasons we do And what do you think happens when we play? Like when we play, what are the benefits of play? I mean, some of them are those same reasons. It improves your mental health, endorphins, stress relief, connect with people, winning and losing and experiencing that laughing. That's great. These are all good things. There's an organization that has, I think it's called Play, uh, Institute of Play, Institute of Play, uh, which uh, one of the people who works with it says, what do most lo Nobel laureates, innovative entrepreneurs, artists and performers, well-adjusted children, happy couples and families, and the most successfully adapted mammals have in common? They play enthusiastically throughout their lives. The Institute of Play has created a school in New York City called Quest to Learn. And they believe so strongly that the idea of play is, is central and integral to our learning experience that all of the modules in the program, which is based on standards, New York standards for education, all the modules have an element of play in them. And the students there learn the same things that students in other schools learn, but they learn it through games and through exploration and through creative expression and through play. One of the examples is the grade six science uh, module on the body, where the children have to manipulate a shrunken mad scientist who has got lost in a human body and has to find the scientist's way through all the different kinds of systems that work in the body and their 
before they learn all about the human body. The school was started in 2009. By 2012, it was in the 97th percentile in scores for student engagement in the state of New York, which is incredible and, and a wonderful tribute to the kind of learning that takes place in that kind of an environment. I wanted to get you involved in the concept today. And we're going to play so that you can get some of these many benefits, so that your brain will get working, so you'll feel some community, so you'll get to laugh, so the endorphins will rush, so your mental acuity will be, you know, improved, all those kinds of things. So we're going to break into teams. Let me see. Oh, here, this team and this team. Okay, we'll have these two teams. I'm going to have to have one person from each team come forward for each time we're going to do this, and another person from the other team to come forward. And the idea is that, some of you may have played this game, it's called Mad Gab. The idea is that the person from the team who is trying to answer, that he, will continue to, he or she will continue to tell the person the words that they are reading on a card. And the people on that team have to guess the phrase that that person is actually saying. Now the other team actually has seen the phrase, but they're not allowed to say anything, of course. The team that's trying to guess is able to say, say it faster, say it slower, uh, raise your voice, lower your voice, laugh in the middle of it, whatever they want, to try to encourage the person who's trying to get them to say it, to say it so that they can understand what's being said. The person from this team who comes up to the front is not going to know what the phrase is either. But when the timer is up, this person, if they haven't got it, if this, team, if this team hasn't figured out what the phrase is, then this person has a shot at it. And then we'll switch, okay? So I'm going to ask you, most of you have your bulletins with you? Okay, first of all, I need two volunteers, one from each team. Okay, come on up Florence, come on up Kevin. We got volunteers. Okay, I'm going to tell you. You're going to come right here. Okay, I want you to come up here so that you cannot see the screens. Okay, you can't see the screens. Okay, now everyone, you're going to be guess you're going to be trying to get your group to tell you what the phrase is, okay? I'm going to give it to you. Don't worry. I'm going to give it to you. You're going to try to get them to tell you what the phrase is. Oh, yes, you've got to hide that. Good man. He knows I'm a cheater. He knows, <laughs> he knows you're a cheater. I don't think so. Okay, there's your microphone. Now, everyone on this side, take your bulletin and cover your face with it. I don't want to see any eyes. Cover your face so that I don't, so you can't see anything. Okay, hands over your eyes then. Or take your glasses off, Margaret. That'll probably work too. Okay? All right. Carrie, can you give us the first phrase up here on the screen? Okay? You guys see it? Okay. Take the phrase away. Next. Okay. You can take your bulletins down now. Now, you're going to say these words right there. Say now? Yeah, I want you to keep saying it, and they have to guess what it is. Youth, inks, ho. Okay. I think so. I think so. Good. Well done. That's you didn't so get to cheat clever. there. Yeah. Well, that's the easy one. Okay. Put your bulletin over your faces here. Everyone on this side. Bulletin over your faces. Hands over your eyes. All right. Deb. Oh, Donna's got her glasses off. Okay. Next slide. Okay, you guys see it? Take the slide away. Okay. Dawn Beach, hail us. Dawn Beach, hail us. Good, excellent, okay. You'll notice those were the blue side. We're moving to the orange side now. Okay, everybody over here, cover your eyes. All right, good, okay, and we'll put the words up. Hang on a second. You see that? Okay, take the words away. All right. Please stay. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, Wrong that's one? not right. <laughs> That'd be a good guessing one, though. 
Okay, go to the uh, cover your eyes again, please. Go to the next one. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I might apologize. Okay. All right, you got that? Okay, bring it down again. Hey, not you guys. Didn't, okay, the people who saw that, you don't get to do it. Okay, bring your, bring your things down off your face. Please stay Kitty C. Onus. Please stay Kitty C. Onus. I can't even remember what it is. Oh, okay. Keep, keep going. Say it again. Have you got it? Faster? Please stay Kitty C. Onus. You want it faster or slower? Faster? Please stay Kitty C. Onus. Yes, please take it. Perfect. Oh, no, that's not right. You're wrong. No. <laughs> please stay Kitty C. Onus. Faster? Come on. Please stay Kitty C. Onus. Please stay Kitty C. Onus. Nope. 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 Take. Nope. Please take. Please stay, Kitty C. Onus. I forgot to put the timer on, but I'm going to count down to five. Five, four. Sorry? No. There's no P in here. Four, the three, two. Uh, okay. Did you get it? Did I get it? Yeah. No. You're supposed to be trying to. <laughs> You're supposed to be trying to get it too. Okay, do you guys get it? No. Please take it easy on us. Still don't get it. She still doesn't get it. That's okay. It's your turn. Eyes covered. Up there, all these covers over your face. Greg, beautifully. Okay, next one. Take it easy, Anna. Oh, take it easy. Oh. I didn't know either. Okay. All right, put the slide down, please. Okay, and you can bring your faces, cover, uncover your faces. Okay. We don't stand ditch chance. That was good. Monotone does it, I think. I, <laughs> I decided monotone works. That was the monotone. Oh, well, these guys are edging ahead. Okay. All right. Can you cover your faces, please? Okay. Can you bring up the slide? Okay. Take the slide down and your faces. Can be shown? Up row fashion hulls beaker. Ooh. Up row fashion hall speaker. Up row fashion hulls beaker. Up row fashion hulls beaker. <laughs> you getting it? No, I've got to try to do it. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it? Excellent. A professional speaker. Who? A professional speaker. Okay. Okay, cover your eyes here. All right, and we'll bring up the next slide. Okay, bring the slide down and uncover your faces. Ray, di <laughs> Ray dissolve the lost ark. How did they do that? How did you do it? Yeah. Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I didn't know it either. Whoa! Impressive! <laughs> Florence is still confused. An awesome team. Do you want someone else to take your chance? No, it's okay. No, 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 All right, no. wait, cover your faces. Bring up our next. Okay. All right, and we'll put the slide down and perfect. End or route torque harp hit. End or route torque harp hit. End or route torque harp hit. All right, nicely done. You're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting it. Okay. All right, cover your faces. All right, our next phrase. Okay, bring the phrase down and the faces uncovered. 
14 days and 14 hikes. <laughs> You're amazing at this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Impressive. Okay. Cover your faces. We're going to draw this to a close and three more. All right, one more. We okay, but just a second. Okay, slide down. Faces uncovered. All set. Okay. Weak ants aim hutch mourn owl. Weak ants. No? Weak ants aim hutch mourn owl. Weak ants aim hutch mourn owl. Sorry? Yes, we can't say much more now. All right, cover your faces. Slide up. Okay, there you go. Slide down. Faces uncovered. License and registration. <laughs> playing this game with you. No, but if you put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable, it throws the, it throws the team off. So if you just go blood, and then you don't, you don't uh, compromise. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> okay. We have one more. Cover your faces. Okay. Cover your faces. Everybody's faces are covered up here. All right. And the slide is up. And take the slide down. And uncover your faces. Faces no pet or hoses. <laughs> Thesis no pet or hoses. Thesis no pet or hoses. <laughs> Thesis no pet or hoses. <laughs> yes, Eleanor has it. <laughs> Say it again, Eleanor. Perfect. Thank you. I want to thank our contestants for participating today. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, the box has a hundred or so more of those cards if anyone's interested in uh, picking some up after the service. <laughs> Nicely done. I think you did very well too. They actually had two more players than you so that could might have made the difference. I'd actually like to spend a few hours trying to make those things up. I mean, who did that? Anyway, they're, uh, they're quite amazing. So thank you for playing along. Thank you for making your mind stretch. Thank you for seeing something a little differently. Thank you for creating community. Thank you for feeling better because your endorphins are now raised. Thank you for being who you are and for sharing in delight. The one takeaway from today, the orange thing, is to remember to play. Remember, it's one of the most important things in your life. I used to have a quote on my wall that said, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You're old because you stop playing. And I know there are people here who will attest to that fact. One of our most recent birthday celebrants, being Jean at 93. So play wherever you can, whenever you can, not when you're in a really deep and intense conversation with your spouse, but at any other time, it's totally welcome and really, really important. And even then, it can sometimes be one of the most important things you do. Amen.